most recently in the past couple of years uh, we've reached a certain threshold uh, in the world that people probably wouldn't realize. Normally beef or beef products has been the number one animal protein source of uh, food across the world. That was surpassed by fish, aquaculture, shrimp, mollusks, those types of things and that's a big amount. Uh, the Soy Aquaculture Alliance was uh, formed about 10 years ago by qualified state soybean boards to find a new market for soybean meal We've learned over the years that uh, we need to have a balance between increased use of oil and increased use of meal. As we've done this increased uh, use of meal uh, over the course of time, uh, we learned that uh, aquaculture was a tremendous opportunity uh, that was going untapped. With the growth of the aquaculture farming uh, itself, we can uh, learn the maximum amount for us of soybean meal uh, we can put into a fish diet uh, to uh, optimize their growth rate and uh, optimize the use of soybean meal. The checkoff has learned over the course of time that uh, if we don't do it ourselves, many times it doesn't get done. So these qualified state soybean boards, uh, soybean checkoffs from the states, uh, formed the Soy Aquaculture Alliance. So they would have an opportunity to guide uh, the industry of uh, aquaculture, mostly domestically to start with and now internationally, to use more soybean meal, soybean oil, soybean products in fish formulations across the U.S. and the world.